So I'm gonna walk you guys through how we're doing cold exposure here during the quarantine times. Uh, we're fortunate we've got a freezer. So what we've done to <clears throat> take care of our uh, cold exposure is we froze a bunch of water. So we filled these two and a half quart buckets up with water and then froze them. So we've got our ice blocks. Uh, obviously, if you can still get to the grocery store, you can still go get ice and you can bring it home. Uh, we've got a tub that we filled up with water, but we can do this in your bathtub. The goal here is any way that we can get cold exposure. So it's not going to be perfect, but whatever we can do to make, uh, to make it work. So we've got the freezer over here and we filled all these things up with water. Then we're going to bring them over to our tub. We've got the 100 gallon stock tank here. So the Rubbermaid, you can get these on Amazon. Uh, I ordered this one on Ace Hardware online. So you can get them or you can get other ones from tractor supply stores. Or if you don't have it, you can get in the bathtub. Whatever you can do, fill something up with water so you can get your body in it. So we filled this up with water. Our water temperature here, I just measured it, is about 68 degrees coming out of the hose here in Southern California. So we're gonna need more ice to get this as cold as possible. Obviously for some of you who are in colder climates, you won't need nearly as much ice if you've got colder water coming out of the pipes. Put probably about 20 of those buckets in, the two and a half quart buckets. Uh, so we've got all these ice blocks and then we put in three bags, three 10 pound bags of ice as well. Those big ice blocks are great for keeping the water cold for a long period of time, but they take a long time to lower the water temperature. So we dump some regular ice in because that ice will melt and it'll bring the temperature down a little bit quicker. Uh, otherwise we can smash up those ice blocks and it'll lower the temperature a little quicker, but it's a lot more work. So you can see, you take a look here, we've got all these ice blocks in and the water temperature, if we look at the surface temperature, it's about 39, 40 degrees. And then as we get underneath, it's closer to 50, uh, about 48, 50 degrees. So uh, this ice bath will cool down while we jump, jump in the sauna. And we'll probably end up doing this ice bath somewhere around like 45 degrees, which is the best we can do with what we've got. So now we've got the tub cold. We're gonna get in. <clears throat> Be careful if you're using these big ice blocks because these icebergs can easily hit you in the face and it's not that fun. So I'm gonna get in under control. Move the ice blocks out of my way. Get in as deep as you can, depending if you're in a bathtub or whatever. Try to submerge yourself as much as you can. I'm gonna dunk my head in here and cover my face so I don't smack my face on the icebergs. And then I'm just gonna control my breathing, stay in here for as long as I need to. Usually we go for about three minutes and our cold tubs are usually less than 40 degrees. This one's a little bit warmer. This is closer to like 45, 50 degrees. So we'll try to stay in here a little bit longer, depending on how cold yours is. Stay in, do 15 slow controlled breaths in the nose and out the nose and then get out and then continue to expand it just using the breath as a timer. Don't worry so much about the temperature and about the time. Just get in, control your breath, <laughs> relax, and just enjoy that cold exposure however you can get it.